In this video, we're going to be looking at eBay's defect system and how you can avoid getting defects. eBay defects explained. So-called defects have a detrimental effect on your seller profile, so it's vital to be aware of what they are, how you get them, and how to deal with them. But what is a defect? eBay has a behind the scenes system that allows them to keep track of seller performance based on a number of inputs, including buyer feedback and monitoring your behavior. eBay then uses defects to help them determine how easily your items can be found in best match search. Even a 2% defect rate, two in every 100 transactions being marked down, can have a detrimental impact on your sales. How do I get a defect? According to eBay, there are several ways that you can get a defect applied to your account. A detailed seller rating of one star for delivery time. A detailed seller rating of one, two or three stars for item description accuracy. Negative or neutral feedback. The buyer not receiving the item. A return request initiated because the item didn't match the item description. A seller cancelled transaction where the buyer has not requested the cancellation. Additionally, buyers chasing up where an item hasn't arrived can count as a defect too. Keeping track of your defects is important. To find out how you might be affected by defects, check out your seller dashboard in My eBay, which will give you an immediate view on whether your trading behaviour is considered above average or below standard. There is also a detailed defect report accessible from the seller dashboard, which will give you granular information on a transaction by transaction basis. Appealing your defects. If you feel that some defects are unfair, then it's worth appealing them. This can help you improve your seller rating, but it can be time consuming. Use the detailed defect report to identify which defects you want to appeal and contact eBay. Don't forget that all defects are equal. eBay make no distinction between one you get for a 10k car or a one pound widget. And that means if you sell fewer, higher value items, then those defects hurt a lot more. That's why sellers of big ticket items often sell small things as well with a low value at cost with free PMP so they can dilute the problems associated with defects. And a tip, always refund buyers via eBay, not PayPal. Not refunding a buyer who asks legitimately can count as a defect against you. And even if you do refund the buyer, you can get a defect. How? By not refunding the buyers through eBay. It's much easier to refund via PayPal, but eBay doesn't track that, so always make sure you use the eBay refund flow to avoid defects. Thanks for watching Tamebay TV. Don't forget you can find out lots more news and information about eBay at tamebay.com.